What's going on guys? Stefan, SNE's Garage. We have our 2012 Kia Forte behind us today. And we are going to be replacing the valve cover gaskets. And then we're going to give this thing a nice fresh oil change with some SuperTech Walmart oil and a genuine Hyundai oil filter. <laughs> Now you guys might say, Stefan, this is a Kia. Why are you putting a Hyundai oil filter on it? You see the box, it says Hyundai Genuine Parts. Well, here's what you find in the box. Hyundai and Kia Motors. This is an original equipment oil filter for Hyundai and Kia. So that is what we will be using today. This is driving me crazy. To go ahead and change the oil and service this Kia. Now we are also using a Felpro VS5092 3R valve cover gasket. And this will work for the 2.0 and the 2.4 liter from 2006 to 2016. So if you have a Hyundai or a Kia with the 2.0 or the 2.4 cylinder engine, Theta, um, this guide will work for you. So let's get you set up on the tripod and let's start tearing into it. Now, the only other thing that you're going to need to do this job is some ultra black RTV. Um, you're going to need them on the corners of the valve cover gasket where the cylinder head meets the timing cover. Now, I, I noticed this oil leak back when we did our oil control valve. You'll see the whole side here of the valve cover is soaked with oil and it is actually leaking down the timing cover. Now the timing cover is also, I don't want to say it's a super common leak on these, but I have seen them leak. Uh, but most of the times it's leaking right at the top corner where the valve cover meets the cylinder head uh, and it just drips right down the back of the engine. So I'm not thinking this timing cover is leaking. I'm, I'm relatively um, certain it's gonna be the valve cover. So we're gonna go ahead and fix that. So oddly enough, when I was in the dealer, valve cover gaskets were actually one of my favorite jobs to do because you get up close and personal with the engine. You get to see the camshafts, you get to see the whole uh, you know, top end of the engine, and it kind of gives you an idea on how well the car was taken care of. If there's no sludge, no varnish, no anything like that you know, in, in the nooks and crannies of the cylinder head, you kind of know the car was taken care of. So we're going to get a good look at that today. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take this beauty cover and we're just going to lift it straight up like so. And it's going to come right off. And that is going to reveal the valve cover to us. Now the next thing we need to do is there is a harness here that goes back to the exhaust oil control valve. We need to go ahead and unplug that from the control valve itself. And then we need to go ahead and unclip this harness from the cylinder head cover. And then we can go ahead and remove the ignition coils and a couple of other uh, miscellaneous parts. So let me go ahead, let's start doing that. So this valve cover is more or less ready to pull. We went ahead and removed all four of our ignition coils. When I pulled the coils, I took a look here at these boots. That's going to give you an indication on whether the spark plug tube seals were leaking. Um, if they were, no big deal. They're built into the valve cover, so it is what it is. Uh, we went ahead and removed this vacuum hose here from the PCD valve. We went ahead and disconnected the breather over here on this side. So now we're just going to go ahead around the cylinder head cover or the valve cover and in the middle and we're going to remove all of the 10 millimeter bolts that hold this guy in. Alright guys, so all of our bolts here for this valve cover are now off. So before we go ahead and rip this valve cover off, we're just going to take a blow gun here and blow as much of this dirt and debris from around the valve cover area away as we can. That way when we pull this off, it doesn't fall into the engine. Alright, sorry for the noise, let's 
Now we're gonna take a flathead screwdriver. We're gonna go ahead and pick a corner. We're just very lightly going to twist and you'll hear it break free as it just did. Let's go ahead and get this back corner here. Okay. Again, we're just kind of working our way around here. And off we go. Now you'll see the valve cover gasket actually stuck to the cylinder head. And it's a bit, it's a little bit brittle. We can see, oh yeah, we can see where it was leaking in the back. Let me, uh, let me go throw this out. We're gonna get you off the tripod. I'll show you what I'm talking about here. All right, so what you're gonna see here is the whole back of this cylinder head. Let me grab a flashlight really quick. You can see all the oil that has been seeping past this valve cover gasket. Now, aside from that, this engine is actually pretty clean. You'll see there's, for 200,000 miles, there is a very, very minimal wear to the lobes of these cams. Um, you can see this, this one actually has got a little bit of wear, but again, it's 200,000 miles. It's really, this thing held up pretty well. You see all of our valve springs, all of our buckets, everything in here looks pretty good. This chain is nice and tight. So, I'm happy with what we see here. So our next step here is to go ahead and grab some paper towels, and we're gonna try to clean this up as best as possible. You're gonna wanna pay attention to this area right here, right basically in front of and behind where your timing chain is. This is where I, like I was talking about before, where the cylinder head meets the timing cover. We need to clean that surface very well. We need to scrape that old gasket material off and that is where we're going to put our bead of RTV once we have this whole area here cleaned off. So back to the tripod you go. We're gonna do another time lapse. You're gonna watch me clean this. And uh, then we're gonna go ahead and install our new gasket into the channel here on this valve cover. Right, guys so you kind of saw me switching back and forth there between brake clean paper towel and some scotch bright by no means here are we seeking perfection we just want to make sure where this gasket is going to ride is nice and clean so it has the best chance of a successful repair here you'll see we use the razor blade to go ahead and clean that old rtv off this is ready for a nice new little bead of RTV. But before we do that, we're gonna go ahead, set our new gasket up in this valve cover. I'm gonna give this one more quick wipe down, and then we're gonna set our beads, plop this guy on. Here is our new valve cover gasket, and I like to start with the spark plug tube seals. This is just the way I do it. So I start from the center, and I work my way out. So we're just going to go ahead and push these into where they belong and they will stay like so. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and start to make our way around the valve cover here. like so. Just be very careful when you're doing this. Don't pinch the gasket. Don't use excessive force. They should just fall right into place. Now you will get this oily. It is absolutely, positively inevitable. So don't really worry about being too careful because all we're gonna do 
Just take a nice new paper towel, spray a little bit of brake clean on it. Like so. And we're just gonna go ahead and wipe. And while we're wiping, we're gonna push just to make sure that the gasket is in correctly. Spark plug tube seals here. Okay, and now we're going to use this same paper towel and we're just going to give this cylinder head one more nice quick wipe down. There was one spot I saw I wanted to get. It's right there. And I believe it was here. Yep. All right, let's get our RTV. Put our dabs in the corners, and then we're going to go ahead and plop this guy on. So I'm going to go ahead and make my dabs, and then I'll show you guys off the camera exactly what we did, or off the tripod. Got a little air bubble in that one. But let me get you off the tripod and show you what we did. So you'll see we have a dab right there and a dab right there. We are now ready to go ahead and set our valve cover onto the cylinder head. All right. So now, some of these won't have this power steering line in your way. I'm just gonna push it out of my way as best I can, like so. Okay, and then your valve cover is just gonna drop into place and we can start very loosely installing our hardware. All right guys, we got all of our valve cover bolts started by hand. I don't remember the torque spec offhand. It's between like eight and 10 foot pounds. I'll, I'll put it in the video uh, right now, but I'm gonna be completely honest with you. You don't need to torque these down. Good and tight is good enough. Um, I like to start in the center and then work my way across basically in a cross pattern and then I'll run over them one more time because as you torque these down, the valve cover is going to settle. So like I said, we're gonna start here from the inside and work our way around. Go ahead, start rerunning our wires here, plugging our stuff back in. Like so, we're gonna start here with this oil control valve. Go ahead, start putting our ignition coils back in. Okay, get our ignition coil bolts ready. Vacuum lines back in. One and two. Get our pliers. Reclamp them. Okay, now we can put our ignition coil harness here. Lay it back where it goes right here. We put our two bolts for it up here. This is just muscle memory to me at this point. I've done so many of these and not just because they were leaking, but when these engines would fail, one of the 
the things that Hyundai would ask of us is to pull the valve cover and send them pictures. Because like I mentioned earlier, they wanted a window into the engine to see how well it was maintained. So again, complete and utter muscle memory here. So now what we're going to go ahead and do, we're done with this job. But I always, always, always recommend changing your oil after doing a valve cover job. Because no matter how clean you are here, you're always going to get some dirt in the valve cover and into the cylinder head. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and start the car. We're going to run it for a minute. That way, if there is any dirt up here, we're going to let the oil wash it away and get it down into the oil pan. And then when we change the oil, all of that old junk is going to come out, in theory. Um, so let's go ahead, put the icing on the cake here. Beauty cover installed. All right. Let's go ahead and start it up, let it run, dump the oil. All right, guys, we let it run for about a minute while we went out and grabbed our drain pan and everything. So now we're just going to sit here. We're going to let it drain. Hopefully, the time that it was running allowed it uh, to flush any contaminants that may have gotten into the, you know, the cylinder head with the valve cover off uh, removed and suspended in the oil and now into this drain pan. So let's just let it keep draining. Then we'll change the filter, fill it back up. All right, guys, and we're done here. We went ahead and changed the oil. It took a little bit over four quarts of oil to get it full on the dipstick. We got our nice new Hyundai filter in, and we have a nice new valve cover gasket. So the only thing left to do is to go ahead. We're going to, obviously, I can't do it now because it's dark out. It's like 11 o'clock at night. Like I said in the previous video, sometimes I can't get out here until this time. Uh, let me get back in the light so you can see me. <laughs> But what we're going to do tomorrow is we're going to go ahead and get some, some engine gunk or some engine cleaner. We're going to spray the whole back of the engine off, hose this thing down, clean it up real good. And uh, then we're going to go ahead and start doing some of the other things we have to do. We have to do some front sway bar links. Um, off camera tonight, I actually fixed the exhaust. So the exhaust is nice and quiet. Um, so pretty soon, you know, rear brakes, end links in the front. And uh, she'll be out at the end of the street with a for sale sign. So if this video helped you, please... Like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to list all the things that we used in the video down in the description below. I'll put the valve cover gasket. I'll put the RTV and uh, some of the other things we use, the uh, scotch Bright and whatever else. Uh, if you buy from those links, it helps the channel. We do appreciate it. So, again, like, share, subscribe. We'll see you next time.